Good afternoon, Mr. Federico. Hi, how are you? I am uh, a bit annoyed, to be honest, because yeah. um, we've brought you into the car here. Into a little bit of comfort, I want to talk about why we got screwed over by the Grand Tour. We got royally screwed <laughs> over by, by uh, the Grand Tour and Mr. Clarkson himself, I think. Yes, uh, yes, veritable uh, Schomp himself has uh, has ruined us. Um, yeah, on that note, the new season of Grand Tour, both him and James May look <sighs> older than old. They're horrible. <laughs> like, Their teeth are falling out. And I don't have happened. good teeth, but yeah, but yeah. But anyway, uh, anyway. So let's. We should probably go back to the beginning. Yeah. Start at the beginning. Yeah. Okay. So you brought some notes out with you. So I you have brought a little cheat sheet. Annotate us. Yeah. Uh, what, Just what, to keep us chatting, right about what's going to happen because this is a long and winding story. Uh, and at no point does it get any better for us than never, basically. So it started off in January 2018. Yep. Mm -hmm. I got a little email uh, and then a phone call from a guy called Peter at Chump TV. And they're the guys that make the Grand Tour. They produce it. Uh, he wanted to chat about Driftland as an idea for um, an episode of the new series of the Grand Tour. Which so, was season three, which is currently airing. Yeah. And the reason we're chatting about this now is the 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 episode that we're referring to mm. is going to be live on Friday. Yeah, I had a quick chat with them about an episode or part of the episode they wanted to do, they wanted to come to Driftland, um, and I've been emailing them back and forth since. So, um, thanks for your help. Best, Peter Richardson was the end of that email, and he was going to work out some dates, but they were definitely up for coming. Um, and then a couple of weeks later, uh, on Valentine's Day 2018, special mm. day for, so, for both of us, um, got an email back from Peter. Sorry, it's taken a while to get back to you. We're finally making progress. Good progress. Good sign. Good progress. sign. We're going to come in on the 19th on a Monday, which is your day off. Yeah, day we'll off. Come, come in on Monday. You got the wee man. You got Travis with you. He's actually not uh, named after the guy from Taxi Driver. No, more out. more Travis Pastrana. More Travis Pastrana. So that thank you who Otacon. commented and asked. Was it Otacon? I think Otacon, so. Otacon, Otacon. He loves to do a comment. Hi, Otacon. New Hello, bit. pal. Thanks for all your comments. Keep them up. It keeps us uh, yep. entertained. Number one commenter. Good lad. Um, so you took and rearranged uh, childcare and stuff. So you could yep. come up on the 19th. Uh, and it's my day off on the Monday. So I came up anyway. Uh, had a chat. Showed the guys around. We took them out for some passenger laps as well and showed them what drifting yeah. was all about and their heads exploded yeah they went mental and, they, and these were serious like they weren't you know it was a director a producer mm. and some Come. guy was even here he had a little color card remember and he was holding it up against like what, the, the yellow on the wall so that they would be able to then color correct the footage that they got here uh, they were blown away even though they're all sort of track based loads of driving and uh, production of the Grand Tour experience they thought this was mind-blowing so well done to drifting for at least creating, yeah, yeah. creating that buzz so they loved it uh, a week later um, they wanted to come do some filming they checked out the dates with us they wanted maybe a date in March maybe a date in April uh, later on the 27th of February so we're now like almost a month from the original call yeah. um, confirmation April filming date that's it in the bag lads we want April filming date that's where we're going to come um, and Clarkson Hammond and May are going to come to Driftland we were ultra excited at this point like, like this is it lads a chance for Driftland to be on the on the map national coverage mm, on shoot, Amazon like, this is it Amazon is shown in uh, the Grand Tour is yeah. shown in every country bar China Woo. every country that's what 190 odd yeah wow yeah wow so that would have been like it that could have yeah they've been, been great it. for us and it'd have been amazing for our YouTube channel yeah, all the bits and Because we had we lots of banners all... around the track. Actually, that, that subscribe to our YouTube channel banner, was... we bought that for the Grand Tour episode in order to try and get that into some of the shots. Yeah, yeah we were going to do the demo part in our cars, which yeah. we were going to get stickered up, vinyled up, uh, and then the guys were going to come and do their part, which is the three cars that they purchased yeah, for this. Yeah, three cars. Um, I think it's when they when the production team came up and they had a look around, mm. they also spotted the smart car, remember? Oh, yeah. And they were like, why have you got bins on your wheels? Yeah. And we were like, explained why, because it's a smart car, it never, we welded the diff, it didn't quite have enough power to drift, mm. so we added plastic and that made it work. They thought that was amazing, yep. and they thought that they would potentially run with that as, yeah, that as was... their idea. 
Yes, but that needed some research done, didn't it? It did take quite a bit of research, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to hand over to page two of my little crib notes here. So this was mainly you having to deal with back and forth. They decided they were either going to use the barrels that we got, the yeah. AutoSmart barrels. Thank you, Grant, uh, f from AutoSmart yeah, for the barrels. Yeah, he hooked us up with all, all the barrels that we didn't use and are now our bins yeah. flying around all over the place. Um, on various different tyre sizes and we experimented with that uh, for them. Um, including getting another car to test on as well. Yeah, we got an open diff car and tried open diff plastic tires to see if if their cars were physically going to do yeah. what they needed to do. And at this point, we still didn't know what the three cars were going to be. No, we didn't. Um, so we were still just sort of, you know, we couldn't. We needed to get a specific size tire, regardless of whether it was a thirteen or fourteen or a fifteen. We needed to get a tire which then would have fitted inside the bin quite snugly yeah. so that was information that we needed um, and then eventually they came back i think yeah well what happened was we'd we'd offered them the, the cheap option we did or the easy drift tires that were like 700 quid exactly. and they're like oh no we totally love the cheap option that's kind of like you guys were working out for themselves yeah, yeah and that's can, cool and then the presenters could just like suggest it to each other yeah. and we can make it all feel quite natural Lads, bands, and, wow, what a great idea gads look there's a bin over there we could make that car and uh bear mind that yeah we found out what the cars were yeah and uh, lancia gamma which yep. is front wheel drive front wheel drive that was an extra like, that was, take that lads yeah, so a that front -wheel was, drive car. that was going to be james's car mm, uh, alfa romeo gtv6 yep and then fiat x19 but they're both rear wheel drive rear wheel drive one's front engine one's mid engine I yeah think. so at this point we we started looking into front wheel drive the ability yeah. for them to slide around, we did a bit more experiment and for the guys we went through, you know, five, six, seven bins. Yeah. Um, and hours upon hour of testing time, so that's the yeah. thing, that everything had got that cost implication and you were back and forth trying to update yeah. them and then they'd ask you more questions. Yeah, they were like, you know, if it's if the cars are more are powerful enough to drift, do you guys have tyres, will you be able to supply uh, tyre changing services? Yeah. Well, yeah, yes, yeah, so I was organising all yeah. that. They then asked if we could order brand new tyres which would fit snugly inside the bins, yeah, which they, would then go on their cars, yeah, which they, we did. Yep, we you did order, do that. You put an order, put an order, in, order in for them. See a hundred of pounds by them. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> we couldn't use those tyre sizes either, it turned no. out, for our drift taxes anything. or anything. Yep. So if that's ideal, um, let me have a little look on to say. Then they, they started getting massive delusions of uh, getting carried away. Um, I just wanted to give you an update of the filming. As it stands, we're looking at putting clipping points in in the sequence. Yeah, and they asked if we could... Uh, if we had anything they could use, yeah. I'd sent them a picture of our SDC clipping yeah. points. And they'd asked if we could make... Grand Tour uh, clipping points, mm -hmm. which we agreed to. So yeah. that would be another, you know, couple hundred quid worth of materials yeah. and time. So at this point, we're like, this is yes. going to be fucking awesome. Yeah, this is it. I've got it. I've we're got gonna it. We're going to get to spend two days hanging out with those guys. Yep. We're going to get it all filmed on. We're going to be on, and it, and this episode, they're doing the North Coast Five Hundred, basically. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine how many people are now, after this episode airs, are going to want to do the North Coast Five Hundred. And we could have potentially been part of that like a start journey. With, yeah, or a finish or something. As a side note, something I don't think you've got in your instructions no. here. If you remember rightly, at a similar time, we also got contacted by Amazon Studios, oh, who yeah. were making the Grand Tour game, which is currently doing the rounds on <sighs> Xbox and PS4. Yeah. And we were going to be in that as part of the game. Yeah, we had to go through all the non-disclosure We stuff did all non-disclosure, which we're now probably breaking. Something. Um, and we also uh, were going to be in a computer game. The yeah. Grand Tour computer Drift game. Driftland in a properly released console game, not just like a not homemade a set of Corsa track or yeah. anything, like yeah. proper actual... So, it was game. super exciting. Yeah. Uh, it was good times. And I'm going to read to you again the final email which I've got here. Hey, yeah. Jake. Hey, We're Jake. going through the schedule as we speak, yeah, yeah. and I'll send over more exact details ready, read, later today. Definitely happening, though. Yeah, 100% happening Many and that thanks. was on the 3rd of April and they were due what what was it the 14th or something it was like was the 10th it was the like the week after yeah, yeah it was the 10th so it was like a week to go yep. everything was great we had all the stuff that they'd asked for we had yep. everything in place we had all the staffing in place we had plans to lock the gates and stop people yeah. from being able to get in so there was no pepper amis here taking photos and we don't ruining. want pepper amis here no, no. we didn't want to ruin the surprise and then 
a couple of days before I yeah. got a phone call. Phone call. It's a nice little call. Just checking phone. in, just, just check. to confirm a couple of details. Just checking in. He said, and the way he said hello, it was that was the precursor oh. for the whole conversation. Oh. And his, he basically said, "All right, Jake, I'm really, really sorry, but Jeremy has come in today, mm -hmm. and he's changed the plans completely. He's thrown everything on its head, and." We're not going to be coming, unfortunately. And, and I, obviously, I was like, "Oh, devastated." Yeah. And then I was, and he was like, "Oh, if it makes you feel any better, you know, I need to to redo my job again in the next three days before we shoot." Didn't make us feel any better, by the way. I can give a fuck what you feel, David. I'm afraid <laughs> at that point, yeah. I yeah, uh, I'd have quite happily poked my finger into your eye, um, <laughs> because unfortunately, this is not the first time this has happened to no. me. The previous year, you'll remember the Grand Tour did an article where Hammond was drifting with Conor Shanahan down at Rockingham. Yeah. That was also scheduled to be here, and the calendars didn't quite work out. So, but that one wasn't quite as disappointing. They hadn't confirmed yeah. they were coming. They hadn't put. We hadn't spent any money. We hadn't put any time and resources into. It's it. Just your own personal just, disappointment. Yeah, just me being a bit sad. Yeah. So, this the episode's going to be on on Friday. In the end, to add insult to injury. Yeah. Yeah, insult to injury. They so they actually, said they didn't like the idea. That was it. They didn't want to go that direction. Yeah. The idea. And and then they went and did that that skit uh, at what you Golspie. call it? Golspie, up yeah. in Inverness where we ran around of SDC previously. So yeah, and they did PVC tire drift. Yeah, it um, I seen a little shaky video clip of James May spinning off onto the grass on what definitely looked like plastic tires. And I also have the guy who runs the track up at Gallspit on Facebook and uh -huh. the day before uh -huh. he just happened to make a post asking for six 200 litre barrels. Oh, barrels just like that? Yeah. That's so, funny. So yeah, they basically, they came up and stole our idea that we'd stole off somebody else. Yeah, but we then inspired it's, more, them. it's more the fact that we went through all the technical bits of how to actually make it viable to do, what the tyres you need and all that kind of stuff, how to make it into potentially a proper programme and yeah. then they went yeah, thanks for all the info, Slaters. So, TV people, if you want to come and film at Driftland, you're paying up front <laughs> uh, from now on yeah. because I keep getting burnt by these bastards. That was harsh. Um, but it was, and I'm genuinely going to watch this episode through tears on yeah. Friday, I think, if I can even bring myself to watch it. Yeah, so when you watch that episode eventually and you see the golf speed drifting and PVC stuff and you wonder how they got that idea and... Who did all the research and yeah. development for it? Yeah, it's all, all us. Okay. So yeah, we weren't really going to make a video about this because we don't really want to upset the TV type people. I'm not sure if we're legally allowed to. Like, I'm we not do sure want to upset them, but we're maybe not allowed to. But we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it anyway, yeah, because we're a tiny little YouTube channel, and yeah. you know no what's cares. the worst that can happen? They try and sue us, and we'll shut it down and start a new one. We might come and eat our lunches if Jeremy's got anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's well. I don't know if his teeth will be able to bite into it and hard. It was a very, it was a very disappointing week. I'll be honest. Like, it's we'd built ourselves up. Yeah. It could have been the start of great things. To be honest, it's pretty much like an early indicator of 2018 for us. It was, it was the start of what was a bad year which might be another video in the future. So subscribe to the channel, drop us a little uh, click on the notifications, hit yeah. that bell just down there, and we might do a, a sort of summary yeah. of the year. Do you one. want Ren to make one of these pieces of paper lists that is only there to try and troll me yeah. into reacting to, thing, <laughs> to bad decisions that I made and bad choices that went bad? Yes, you do. Give us a like oh, if you want that to happen. Don't, don't, don't troll me. Don't troll me. Oh, guys. So yeah, uh, the the Grand Tour fucked us. Jeremy Clarkson literally shot on my chest. Yeah, and then and then, and then, and then Hammond and May just rubbed it in, <laughs> rubbed it in like that. So that is the story of how we got fucked over by the Grand Tour. Thanks for watching, guys. See you.